Juan Francisco Estrada versus Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. Three. It's uh, finally official, as you guys can see and as you guys can tell by the title. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd uh, really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, this fight between Estrada and Chocolatito. Uh, 12 rounds in the junior bantamweight division. Um, they, they were planning to do this earlier this year, but it didn't happen. And uh, now it's happening before the end of the year. Um, no surprise that this fight's happening. Uh, it's been talked about for quite some time now. Uh, Estrada is literally coming off a fight against uh, Cortez. A fight where Estrada won by close decision. In a fight where, honestly, these scorecards were pre-filled already. So there was no way Cortez was going to win this fight by, by decision. He needed a knockout because this fight was already a, pretty much a done deal. They literally announced this fight right after the Estrada versus Cortez fight. Um, to be shown live on the zone, by the way. Uh, at the venue yet to be uh, announced. They haven't really announced the venue yet. So uh, we'll, we'll hear what the venue is um, in the near future. Most likely going to be in the West Coast. So, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be tuning in on, on the zone. And uh, just looking forward to it. Honestly, looking forward to it. I think the, the third fight is going to be another close competitive fight. Uh, the rematch that took place last year. Uh, Juan Francisco Estrada ended up winning that fight by a split decision. Um, it, it was a very close one. A very, very close fight. A lot of people thought Chocolatito should have won that fight. But, you know, it was a close one. I think I... I can't remember who I had winning that one. Honestly. Uh, I, I remember having it close. Um, did I have Chocolatito winning that fight? I'm not sure. I have to go look back. I think I, I remember having it very, very close. Could have gone either way. But I think I had it for Estrada winning. But I, I, I remember saying somewhere around the lines that uh, you can definitely also score it for Chocolatito. Because of how many close rounds there were involved. So, anyway, Chocolatito, uh, they were supposed to fight back in March. And uh, Julio Cesar Martinez replaced Estrada. Uh, so Chocolatito ended up fighting uh, Julio Cesar Martinez. And uh, Chocolatito looked good inside that ring against a young, strong fighter in Martinez. And uh, Chocolatito showed that he still definitely still has it. And he definitely has what it takes to beat Estrada in this uh, third fight. It's going to be a competitive one. It's going to be a fun one. So uh, you don't want to miss it. I'll keep you guys updated uh, once they announce, announce the uh, venue. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.